and welcome to McKinley Memorial Library's Baby Toddler Storytime for our first week of February. This week and next, we are going to spend some time talking about friendships and what it means to take care of others. And today, I brought along Horton from Horton Hears a Who and many Dr. Seuss stories because I can't think of a better friend than Horton when he takes care of the Who's on their floating speck. So, we also are getting ready in about a month to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday. So you will see Mr. Horton a few more times. So today, our first story that we are going to read is called The One and Only Ivan, New Friends. This story is written by Colin Hostin and illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. So, The One and Only Ivan, New Friends. Hi, I'm Ivan. I'm a silverback gorilla. That's me on the sign. There he is. My friends and I perform together. Murphy, Henrietta, Velma, Frankie, Bob. This is Ruby. She is a little elephant. Ruby just joined the show. We are a part of a circus. People come to watch us perform. It's a big job. Ruby is a little nervous, but I tell her not to worry. I hope this makes Ruby feel better. I draw pictures to make Ruby feel happy. She likes my drawings. Ruby wants to draw too, but Ruby doesn't know what to draw. I tell Ruby not to worry. She can draw whatever she wants. I give Ruby crayons. She has many colors. She has to choose from. But where is the gray? It's missing. I help Ruby look for the missing crayon and I found it. Here is the gray crayon. Now Ruby can draw her picture. Ruby draws a picture of an elephant. Ruby also draws a picture of a gorilla. Look, that's a picture of me and her. Uh-oh, what about the rest of our friends? I will draw them. How many friends do I have to draw? I will need to count. It looks like he has many to count. We have so many friends. I try to count them. One, two, three, four. Bob, can you help me count? But Bob is not very good at math. Bob is a dog. My new friend Ruby helps me count. Now I know how many to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven if you include Ivan. We did it. Ruby meets my friends. Now we're all friends. Now Ruby isn't nervous anymore. It's showtime. So that was a nice story about Ivan the gorilla meeting Ruby, the new elephant, and helping her feel comfortable and make new friends. So I really, really like that story. Our second story is a little bit silly and it's called, Can Cat and Bird Be Friends? Hmm, by Cole Murr. Can a cat and a bird be friends? Let's see. There's our cat, there's our bird. And cat and bird be friends. Okay. Are you a bird? Yes, I am. Then I must eat you. Why? Because I am a cat and cats eat birds. But why did cats eat birds? I don't know. It's always been like that. Can't I be your friend instead? Oh, I'm not sure about that. How would a bird make a good friend for a cat? Well, I know a fun box for a cat to play in. I love this box. I know the highest tree for a cat to get stuck in. This tree is very tall. And I know the best car for a cat to hide under. I agree, this is a fantastic car to hide under. Okay, bird, you can be my friend. Wait a second, how would a cat make a good friend for a bird? Well, let me think. I know the perfect way for a bird 
or perfect wire for a bird to sit on. This is a lovely wire. I know where there are lots of twigs for a bird to make a nest with. These are super sticks. I know where there are loads of juicy worms for a bird to eat. These worms are totally tasty. Okay, bird, we can be friends. But friends do things together, don't they, cat? Yes. Well, I don't like playing in boxes, getting stuck up in high trees, or hiding under cars. And I don't like sitting on wires, making nests, or eating worms. You're right. If we're going to be friends, we've got to find something we both like doing. So, what do we both like doing? I like stretching. Do you? Not really. Do you like cleaning yourself in water? No, I don't. Do you like licking? Nope. Do you like flying? Of course not. I'm a cat. I guess that's it, then. We have nothing in common. We can't be friends. Oh well, I think I'll just go home. I've got a painting to finish. Painting? I love painting. I love painting too. We can be friends. Yes, we can. The end. So, in our story, it turns out that cats and birds can be friends but they did have to think a minute about something they have in common or something they enjoy doing together. So I encourage you this week to think about if you can be friends with someone, even if it takes you a minute to think of something that you can do with them, even if it's not your favorite thing. Maybe it's sharing your toys or maybe it's playing a new game. Whatever it may be, I'm sure you can find something to have in common with your friends. All right, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.